Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner. Hey, 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 hey. Sunday dinner. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner. Let's go. Welcome to Sunday Dinners. <laughs> we are a U City podcast where we gather together. We talk about common things, mm-hmm. human things, God things. I'm just going to keep adding to the yeah. list every mm-hmm. time. Yeah, that's um, fine. I'm Maria. Author. I'm Brent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still Tiff. Speaker. That's good. I am <laughs> Terrell Huntley. They call me Pastor T. And I'm Kimmy. Licensed. Hey, guys. License. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> what? We're getting... That would black people need some, okay, need some sugar. <laughs> yeah. Literally. So we are going... We... I mean, so you City Church is 10 months old. I think... Are we 10 months old? Oh, man. Something like yeah. that. We were five years old. We, 11. We're 11 months old. Yeah. Okay. We pray all the time. Like, one of our... our neck up. One of our... <laughs> barely. <laughs> um... One of our, like, we've been praying since before, like, U City even launched is for, mm. to see God do miracles, right? Like, we want to be, we want to be a place in our lives, in our personal lives, and in as a church where we p- pray and we believe that God can do big things and does big things. Yeah. So today, we are just going to do bragging on and showing off on God a little bit and each of us sharing a miracle story that we have seen personally, right? So yeah. that it's not like, oh, you don't even really know if that happened. <laughs> Is that not do you, wow, do you guys really? Do you guys not I'm get that? I'm no, yes. you don't get that. I think I don't get that. I think that I'd be like, okay, you're that person. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, that bro. person. Yeah, wow. right. Because I said that, wow. and you guys even after it. seeing all that's right, you're the, still like, yeah, wow, yeah. that's yeah. Okay, Ooh. well, that makes me that because that's what I feel like I encounter anytime. Yeah, it's like the prove that, prove that. Did that really happen? Yeah. Okay, so me and Brett were over here. You guys are happy ones. I have. No, no, I have. have. Yeah, no. that's a real thing. I have skepticism I'm with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have, and sure. not me. I have always believed fully in <laughs> all of my trust fully in God. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you're the pastor. That's why. That's what it takes to be a pastor. Actually, actually, to be perfect. <laughs> and actually, uh, and I am in the same boat. Mm. I am. I'm like, I don't want to believe, like, you know, it's like I want to believe, uh, but then I don't want to. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. So okay, well that's good that we're all in the same boat. Like yeah. we're not uh, out here talking like we have the but skepticism in us, mm-hmm. except yes, for Pastor Terrell, who sure. has not. Okay, so we are going to all share our God miracle stories. Ready? And break. break. No, I'm just kidding. Go. I'll go first. <laughs> all at the same time. Ready? No, I'm just kidding. So, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll go first because mine actually encompasses pretty or involves pretty much everyone that is mm-hmm. sitting in this room mm-hmm. right now. Um, mm-hmm. We, I'm going to make it short. We went to Ohio last year. Um, shout out to Rock City. We went to visit. Hey. Yeah. Hey, cool. And so we flew, of course, from North Carolina to Ohio. And so uh, one of Tiff's issues or things that she has dealt with is motion sickness and feeling like really nauseous on planes, really nauseous in the car, really nauseous if I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, like all those things. And so I used to fly all the time with my teams and I wouldn't feel as bad, but I would always be nervous because I knew that it was a thing because it it would literally like, so what happened is we got on the plane to Ohio. I was like, y'all, I get motion sickness. So I'm just gonna get on the plane and go straight to sleep like, or or else, like it's gonna be a bad day. And I did that. But got to Ohio and felt like I literally was about to throw up everything, felt like I couldn't stand up straight, had the worst headache, all the things. And I was like, this is not like this is not how we want to start the trip because we had all these fun things planned in downtown Ohio. Mm -hmm. So um, downtown Ohio, downtown Columbus. So um, we get in the car, we go to the hotel and I'm I've basically resolved in my mind that like. I am going to stay at the hotel and go to sleep. Everyone else can go and hang because that has been the only way that I've been able to deal with these things Mm -hmm. because it's that severe, like that Mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, you were visibly different. Yes, Yes, for sure. Yes. You know the... (laughs) You know when you see a, like an R&B star and they get off the plane and they're in the, looking around <laughs> with the sunglasses? Yeah. Oh boy, that's, that's literally what it was. Like. 
<laughs> and I was, like, I was like trying I'm like, like hey, she was t- leaving a funeral t- t- yeah, yeah God. God. I was like no just don't God. just, just get away and I'm normally like <laughs> yeah, you know the life super of the party. yes yeah. life yeah. of the party and but when those when that happens I you're right don't like I visibly am different don't look at me don't come near me and it's like I want to be me but it is I physically just cannot right so we get to the hotel, I'm like, um, or on the way there, I take a nap, and I'm still, like, dead. Uh, we get to the hotel, and everybody's like, okay, what do we want to do? I'm like, uh, as we are driving to the hotel, I hear the Holy Spirit say, have, when you get to the hotel, have everyone come to your room and pray for you. Mm. And I was not expecting anything other than just, like, okay, I'm, they're going to pray for me, and I'm still going to go to sleep, and they're going to go hang out, and I am going That's to be... That's called lordship. There you go. I'm totally going to be fine with whatever he wants he's going to do, right? So, get to the hotel, um, and we get out. I go to my room. Everyone, I'm still like, I just can't. I, uh, they, everyone comes to my room. Um, everyone prays, like lays hands, prays, like everyone's touching shoulder, leg, whatever. Um, and I remember Pastor Terrell saying, like, that this has to go. Like, you're not going to sit in here. Like, you're not going to go to sleep here. You're coming out with us, mm-hmm. and you're going to be fine. And he was saying it because he's like, your future, this cannot be a part of your future of, of all the flying and the driving and things you're going to be doing. So God has to show up <laughs> here. Right. And it was one of those moments of like, man, the faith I didn't have, somebody else had it for me. Right. So all yeah. these people in the room had it for me. So everyone lays hands and prays um, and Brent prays. Uh, if y'all, uh, I Aww. wish everybody could get a prayer from Brent. A prayer from Brent, a faith from Pastor Terrell, a heart and a nurturing from, from Lindsay and Maria, because both and with of you all did. all of our powers combined, we are My Jesus. God. <laughs> we are Jesus. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. So literally, everyone prays, and I say, I, you know, lift my head up, and I say, amen. And I'm still thinking, y'all, like, y'all about to go out. Yeah. Still thinking that. And I literally, like, the headache and stuff was so bad, like, so bad. So I literally almost, like, I couldn't do this. Like, I couldn't look up, right? And so they prayed. I opened my eyes, and I was like, this? And I was like, oh, my gosh. I don't feel anything. And then I look up, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know? And I did. I couldn't say anything. I just burst into tears. Yeah, you did. And it was such this miracle of healing that happened in Mm -hmm. that moment of God just, like, literally... It was it's it is still the wildest and the most cool thing that God has done in my life to this day. Um, because I was able to feel one hundred percent fine, mm-hmm. like a hundred percent fine, mm-hmm. and go out and hang out the whole rest of the time, mm-hmm. right? And then even as a piece of that miracle, mm-hmm. this I don't know if everyone in here knows. I don't know if I've told y'all this. Uh-oh. Um when the day we were leaving Ohio, I went into the bathroom and like was putting my stuff together. And I, and I was rejoicing also, let me say that. Like, everyone left, I'm getting ready, rejoicing, da 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 So I'm leave, we're leaving Ohio the day, and I go into the bathroom, and I'm looking, I, I'm caught by the picture in the bathroom. And so I'm like, oh, that's kind of, you know, that's a kind of cool picture, you know, whatever, thinking nothing of it. And then I hear the Holy Spirit say again, or, or I say again, but I hear the Holy Spirit speak and say, go into, go to the space, the chair that you sat in when they prayed for you, mm-hmm. and look at the picture that's up over mm-hmm. where you, where they prayed. And I was like, yeah, okay. But it was like a, this is going to be a uh, reminder, right? And so I go out into the chair where I sat was like at the desk in the hotel room. And there was a picture up above it. And the picture up above it was a cross. And I oh. had not noticed it the entire wow. in like weekend. In like a Marriott. And, and like a Marriott. Right. Hey, and I, I, that, and I mean yeah. like shining, like literally like, I still have, I have to show y'all the picture, but it was like literally like a gold, gold yeah. cross, mm-hmm. like shining. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, immediately again in mm-hmm. tears. Mm-hmm. But and that's been a constant reminder for me. I got the room key. Mm-hmm. I got that picture and those things. I will keep oh, forever. Yeah. But that was absolutely a moment of, good. of a miracle. Yeah, so, it was. I have it an was aside a for us too. Yeah, I think it could be really good. You said the Holy Spirit said to you twice. Yeah, and I think it could be really cool after maybe another podcast to talk yeah. about what to, what it's like for us to hear from the Lord. You're right. Yeah, like yeah. practically because I, sure. I think that's probably yeah. 
yeah. a thing for people too. I thought of that a co- when yeah. you were saying it too. Yeah. And like the the 30 second, because I do think that it would be helpful for us to have a longer conversation about that. Mm-hmm. The 30 second bit of it is that's a lot what we mean when we talk about at UCD freedom to fail. Right. Mm-hmm. It's practicing mm-hmm. hearing the voice of God. Yep. Yes. Right. And and it and it's just practicing it over and over again until you you do it so many times and then you do know his voice. Yeah. You yes. know when he and that's why Tiffany is able to say it so confidently. Right. Because yeah. she's right. done that practicing. Right. Of it. Yeah. It's not just she's like, I like this. So I'm going to say God. Said yeah. That. That's not what's happening. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I really. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. Awesome. That's mine. That's right. Thanks for one. being a part of it, guys. Wow. Beat that. I didn't know that. God yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Where did y'all feel in that moment? Mm. Nothing. Actually, no, not worse than nothing. I, yeah. 95% of the time I'm praying for someone or whatever, I'm thinking, mm-hmm. I, when's the last time I sinned? That's the first, I'm like, mm. oh, Lord, like, <laughs> some sin that I'm aware of that yeah. I care about. You know, forget yeah. all the sins. God's like, well, what about these? I'm like, I don't care about those. I only <laughs> care about the ones I care about. Anyways, but um, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm normally like fighting like lies and mm, like yeah. this is... Not gonna, and doubt. nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, doubt, yeah. lies, and doubt, like all the time, most, yeah. most time. So, yes. I was sense. thinking, like, man, I hope, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, I hope, <laughs> I hope Tiffany is encouraged after this doesn't yes. work. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> you know? yes, yes. Like, I just hope she's gonna be uh-huh. all right emotionally yes. after it doesn't work. Yeah, man, so. yeah. Can yeah. I just say, I appreciate your honesty, Brent, because mm-hmm. you said the same thing to me after you prayed over me. It was like, mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not gonna put all the hope in, you know, what I say, but I appreciate your honesty in that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I think it's yeah. helpful for people for sure to hear that part because then it, that's saying you're. It's not like you've been praying the just right things or you have all this mustered mm-hmm. up faith. Yeah. That yeah. makes the difference. Faith God, points. God yeah. really yeah. chooses. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was really cool um, for me to see two things. One, like really seeing Terrell in his prayer. Like there, I I have the vision of you sitting in the chair, Tiff, and then mm-hmm. Terrell. I think his hand was on your forehead, mm-hmm. and like that's seared into my mm-hmm. memory. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you say about like Terrell said to you about the part of like this has to this is going to make sense because of your futures on planes has to right. Mm-hmm. I saw that same thing for you as a pastor mm-hmm. in that moment about the intercessory mm-hmm. prayer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Th- and in that moment, where well, I can say that in that moment, actually, I'm usually where. You are Brent for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I Terrell don't even, was full of, I, yeah, of I, yes. 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 I do, but I think I'm. I may be like worse than you in it. Like, mm-hmm. um, like if I pray for a person, usually I am not lying. I usually have the answer if this is going to work or not. Yeah. I, I do, and I just don't say it, right? And I'm like, hey, God has something else for you. I just never. But yeah. in that moment, it became logic. It was nothing but logic in my heart and in my mind. Mm. Nothing but logic. Yeah. I was like, this makes zero sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. You're like, one plus one equals right. two. But that like, doesn't so happen. Just all the, right? Yeah. That, right, 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 right. Yeah. Most of it is just a hopeful, yeah. you know, just mm-hmm. throw yeah. it out there. God, if you want. Yeah. I mean, we're, you we're throwing know, ourselves you at your mercy, you Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you think, but, but in that moment, it was logical yeah. for me. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The second, the second thing that I saw mm-hmm. was, and it and it was powerful for me in a way that you know the difference between like Holy Spirit times is your breaking down. Tiff was like a Holy Spirit breakdown. Yes. You're crying. Yeah, you were stomping your I've foot. I never saw you. You cry. couldn't. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't like control. Yeah, and that's not something that right yeah. we see. Right, you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, no, you right, know. yeah. I know we we <laughs> gangsta. Yeah, we she G- got thug tatted on her stomach. That's like, like I mean. <laughs> <Tiff is a. laughs> But no, so, yeah, you're right. Um, mm-hmm. I I have one. This uh, this yes. will, um, this is the shortest one I can think of. <laughs> so that and 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 I think it's also a different. It's a miracle, but it's not a, a healing miracle. Mm-hmm. So I would say this is the first significant. Um, it ranks at the very top of the first sort of miracles I ever saw the Lord do in my own life, mm-hmm. and helped me believe like, oh God. You care about me, not just mm. about the work yeah. I do yeah. or whatever. Mm. Like, yeah. um, and so I was a new believer, probably four months saved at that point, mm. um, dealing with you know porn addictions and sex addictions and just trying to like live a pure life for the first time, <laughs> and really trying and um, and trying to be you know abstinent and and all these different things. So I'm really really struggling. And, um, but God's been good and I'm on the new Christian high, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, 
But as the months go on, I'm like struggling more and more and more. And, um, and at that point in my life, like i I feel like one way or another, I was, I was having maybe like, and trigger warning or something, but like maybe eight to 10 orgasms a day. That was like, Mm -hmm. I needed to have an orgasm to go to sleep, to wake up before I took a test before, Mm -hmm. like that was just how I coped with all types of things. That was my Mm -hmm. thing. Right. So, so for God to come into my life and say, Hey, no more of that. I'm like, how Mm -hmm. that's not possible. Like, I don't Mm -hmm. know what to do. So I'm just trying to trust the Lord. Well, um, it's like month four. I'm at the end of my rope, you know, willpower wise. Mm -hmm. And, I had different options, and I was like, well, the least bad option is porn. I'm not going to respond to this person. I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm looking at porn. And I remember praying like, God, you know, only you know Mm -hmm. I'm at the end of my rope here, right? Yeah. Someone else can say, oh, no, you could try harder. But you know I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. My willpower is done. And um, Mm -hmm. and I was like, you got to do something Mm because otherwise I'm going to mess up and then that'll be your fault. (laughs) You Mm -hmm. know, like, Mm -hmm. as I'm doing, I'm giving all That's honest and great. that prayer. Yeah, Yeah. it's like, I mean, it was just really I'm telling you, I'm just letting you know, God. (laughs) Yeah, this is on you. This is what I'm telling you. If it happens, it's on you. Right, Right. this is your fault. Don't blame me. Don't come looking this way. So, anyways, so, either way, I go to my room, pull out my computer, get to the website, pull up some videos, the whole thing, and then I have this small moment of clarity. And I'm like, Okay, I'm just gonna pray one last time. Wow! Right? Mm-hmm. I'll do, and and it was it was it was I had no faith. I was just like, well, I'm about to sin, and I might as well. Yeah, you, know, you know, it's just like, okay, just say your grace. Last right? Exactly. Yeah. Literally, yeah. literally, yeah. literally yeah. like yeah. grace before you eat. Say that is grace. exactly it, right? I had no. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> oh I love that, bro. Gosh. I love that because that's exactly what it was like. It was like, I was just like, look, this. I'm going through my emotions now because. Yeah. I'm I'm done. Yep. Had the small moment of clarity. Um, close my eyes, pray. I can't remember what I prayed, but something like, "Hey, man, you gotta help me." Like, you say that there will be a way of escape. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it's at, but you gotta help me. So I um I go to open my eyes, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm not horny anymore." And I was like, "Oh, what a miracle!" But that wasn't like I was like, "Okay, that's weird." And I hear these birds chirping, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Why are birds chirping so late at night?" So background. I'm in my room um, before I prayed this prayer, and I'm like at my the end of my rope. It's probably like nine at night, mm. um, so it's dark outside. I'm sitting up in my bed, like people who are watching, you can see like I'm um, sitting with like my back to the wall and my my butt on the rest of the bed, right? So feet are just out in front of me, mm-hmm. and um, and so it was like nine p.m. when I went to pray. So I, I pray this prayer, like, God, you got to help me. I'm, I'm done for it. Open my eyes. I'm like, oh, I'm not horny anymore. Look at the Lord. He can, you know, he'll be some restraint. Um, but I hear these birds chirping. I'm like, wow, that's weird. What birds are chirping so late at night? And I open my window, my blinds, and it's shining bright. And I'm like, what <sighs> in the world's going on? And I look at my watch, and it's 12 p.m. So 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. Or, uh, yes, 9, 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. What is that, 15, 16 hours? Wow. What's that, math? So, literally, it, I thought I was just praying, and I said amen. When I said amen, in between my amen, for you me, I'm like... You slept for 13 I hours. I slept for, yeah, 13, 14 hours, wow. straight up in my bed like this. Wow. Wow. And it was so close. I thought I was just saying amen. I was like, amen. And I opened my eyes. I'm like, wow, I don't feel horny anymore. That's awesome. Wow. Right? And so, then I'm like... What? what? Whoa. <laughs> and I felt like God was like, I got you, bro. I yeah. love I got that. So Jesus snuck Aww. in my room and put me in a chokehold. Hello. And, and, and put oh, me to sleep. Man. And Light so out. that was the like the miracle for me. Because wow. it was like, oh, wow. God, um, you wow. care enough about me. Mm. You you care enough about me to help me. Mm-hmm. Not sin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So instead wow. of like, hey, bro, you got to figure it out. You're on your own. And if you mess up, like, well, it sucks to suck. You suck. Right? <laughs> right? Wow. Which was, had kind of been my mindset to know, Brent, I see that you're trying and I will help you. I'm faithful to my word. Mm-hmm. I will provide a way of escape for you. And that like, that freed me so much because I'm like, oh, then I really can't fail. Like, so well, all I, I got, have to do I is try help. my best. Wow. And then God will come save me. I got yeah. Like, yep. So... It was this. It was a turning point in my faith, 
and um, in my relationship with the Lord. So. Wow, amazing! Yeah. That is. I didn't know if I shared that with you. No, before, no, I've never heard that. Good. No, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Ooh, yeah. That's like watery the podcast, eyes. Yeah. No, only <laughs> the <laughs> tears. Okay. Oh my God! No, <laughs> we need valley tears. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. That's but praise the Lord. Amen. Man. Brent. Wow. What? Got a follow up behind that. Yep. Sheesh. Um. So mine, uh, it's a healing, healing miracle. I can say that this actually happened on Tuesday. Mm. Um. So this is the most recent one. Mm. Um. So it was in the evening. And I'm getting ready for, well, getting Roma ready for bed. And my chest starts hurting. But honestly, before that, I went to the run club. Mm-hmm. And I felt like some pain in my chest. Brent, mm-hmm. you've seen me touch my chest at church before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- it was the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and the last time it happened, it, it happened, it, it lasted for like five days. So this time wow. I was like, all right, here we go again. I don't know if this is my symptomology acting up. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm getting Roma ready for bed. And then I sit down because I'm doing his laundry. But then I felt a tightening in my chest and then, you know, sharp pain. I was like, oh, my God, Lord Jesus. That's so why I started praying mm-hmm. immediately. And I was rebuking, rebuking everything, right? Yeah, just right, um, right. just praying. Um, and then I read the Bible. Then I put it down. I was like, bro, I'm getting distracted by the pain. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight because I know I'm not going to get sleep with this pain. So Terrell was sleeping um, in the bed. And I was just like, okay. Let me see how long I can stay up because mm-hmm. I can't go to sleep with my chest feeling this way because I'm not going to get any sleep. So I prayed again. Um, and then I remember just it was almost like a like I'm telling God what to do. Like, God, you have to let right. me go to sleep. Yeah. I was like, Roman has school tomorrow. He has picture day. I have to wake up early. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be any good. So I prayed my last prayer before I try to lay down. And um I think it was like maybe 30 minutes later, I went to the bathroom, did all the things to get ready for bed, and then I laid down. And I was like, oh, I don't oh, feel anything. Oh, man. And just like you, I was like, you care enough about me yeah. and this small thing compared yeah. to whatever else people are dealing with. Mm-hmm. You care enough about me. You let me know that in that mm-hmm. moment. Wow. And honestly, I haven't had the pain since Tuesday because I was like, okay, it might come back. Yeah. But no, like, mm-hmm. I haven't had the pain. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I, I did cry, but you know, yeah. you were sla- you were fast asleep. I didn't want to wake you up. <laughs> and I was like Brent. You right? Oh yeah, but he, I was pr- he was sleeping. No, was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, but From I didn't I didn't even want to wake <laughs> him up. I was like, yeah. let me yeah. just deal with it by myself. Yeah. And yeah. so I was like, okay, it's me and you, God. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. but I was really concerned wow, okay. if I was going to be able to get sleep yeah. and if this was going to be prolonged for like days yeah. on end. But mm. yes, amen. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, mm-hmm. I love that. Amen. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God is good. Mm-hmm. God out here just acting like he's God. <laughs> like he can do whatever yeah. okay. he wants. Just being God. Yeah. Everywhere. Hmm. I want to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> you may say. No, I, I just, what, what I can say is that I, um, I've always struggled with uh, that it is easier to ask for healing or anything mm. for like other people. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. But it's it is it is for myself a miracle. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like hard to, um, and so what I am praying for, and if you want to end this way, is a miracle. Um. For U uh, City, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that looks like. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but like just hearing, right the the uh, the sense of like uh, mind blown mm-hmm. from zero mm-hmm. to a hundred, yeah, from nothing to something, yep, uh, whatever that is. Um, like he he has shown up in many ways and, and many miracles but but like man that that like noticeable like man I cannot forget mm-hmm. this yeah. yeah um that is what I'm praying for mm-hmm. so yeah yeah and I think like even even as that we've been sharing our stories my heart has been going out to uh, all the times that we've prayed those things and they didn't happen yeah because yes. we could spend yep. 14 <laughs> podcast episodes yes, right. we can. on that right yes, and it make it yes. makes it sound so easy um, but my, my quick one was when I was on a trip 
in Africa and this young woman, she was in her early 20s, she had a baby and she was just weeping in front in, in it, it was in Zambia and they still do they do bride prices mm-hmm. in Zambia and yeah. so she was engaged he had paid the bride price for her she was preg- she was pregnant um but before the baby came he left mm. and so the baby was 3 at the time she was there she was sobbing mm. like in my arms and she she's sobbing because he's gone because but also because she's heartbroken right yeah. heartbroken mm. all the things and so i just started praying for her and I don't know, just praying like you do, just praying whatever comes to heart and mind. And I was with um, my friend Amanda, and we stopped praying and sent her off. And Amanda goes, do you know what you prayed? And I said, what did I pray? And she goes, you prayed for God to pluck him out from wherever he was, like in this country, and you bring him back. I said, I said that. Because wow. I don't have the kind of faith to pray that. Yeah. Yeah. Because of what you guys said about, yeah, like, yeah. I don't want him to get yes. emotionally right. Yeah. But so it just takes the like the tiny step of faith to just start just start praying. Just start praying for somebody mm-hmm. and then God takes over. And would mm-hmm. you know the next day we saw her, she comes up to me. She goes, Maria, it been three years. She goes, He called me. Mm. Wow. She goes, My phone, my phone was ringing. Wow. And wow. It, wow. it was him. And I said, What? And that was wow. just as much for her faith as it was for my yes. faith. Because yes. I had forgotten. Yes. Like I had forgotten what God was capable of. And yes. even to ask the crazy yes. things. Yes. Yep. Um. Ooh. So if it's okay, I'm gonna close in prayer. Yeah. I'm a, can I say one thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. this is really quick, and this is like for our, our listeners. Yeah, because you just said that it uh, her miracle was more was for her faith, but it was also for yours, yes. right? Yeah. yeah, and I think that that is we have. I was ha- talking with a friend um, after this mir- my my miracle, that, and I shared it with her, and sh- we were talking about how, uh, or she was saying, I wish that more people would share more of their miracles today. Mm-hmm. because there's so many people who like mm-hmm. we are you yes. know who are yes. skeptical and all these things and that you mm-hmm. know that's fine but actually there are some miracles that mm-hmm. are meant to be shared to uh strengthen and yes. you know empower other yep. people's faith mm-hmm. and so i think um from just our listeners from like the smallest to yeah. biggest to whatever miracles you have like yep. please start sharing them yeah you know wherever you are but mm-hmm. i think that's a that's like you, you saying that was yep. a reminder that's good yeah that is good. Yeah. Um, God, we just, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you are more mighty and powerful than we can ever imagine. Yeah. We thank you for these stories that have brought us such encouragement today. We pray that they would bring so many encouragement and that you would receive the glory, Father. Mm-hmm. Um, help us to not doubt. I pray specifically mm-hmm. for anybody who has just been praying the perpetual prayer for healing. Uh, for them to not not stop asking you, mm-hmm. and for you to do a mighty work of healing, I pray over you, City Lord. We pray for the the bold and risky prayer mm-hmm. um, that it would be a place for many to come to experience you, mm-hmm. to know you, um, and Lord, that it would be uh, it wouldn't even be something that we would have to figure out or do, but it would be just almost like the Brent miracle that we pray one sentence mm-hmm. and open up our eyes and it is like mm-hmm. no time has passed and you have already done the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we pray this um, with expectancy and with excitement mm-hmm. and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, thanks for listening. Please be sure to leave us a review and follow us on Instagram at UCityTheChurch. We'll catch you next week.